Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly Love Forecast Horoscope for August 9th to the 15th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would uh, like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are interested in my new um, my new mentorship that I'm making available to learn tarot is going to be a six week course, very hands on. If you're interested in that, all the information is in the description a box below. All right, so let's now move into your reading. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at your day to day, your love interest feelings, the block stage and challenges and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both, let's jump right in. What's going on by Leo's romantic love life for August 9th to the 15th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. Three. All right, so this is going to be the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th. It's going to be your love interest feelings. This is the blockage for this week. This is the overall outcome. All right, so the song that's popping in here, guys. I think of you every step of the way. So, uh, so it's almost like this person saying they are concerned about going on. Okay, that's very interesting. Let's see how that's going to play out in the reading. It's a Whitney Houston song guys know the lyrics you can uh, let me know what in the comments below okay so this is your day-to-day -day. I love it when you guys uh, come back check this out let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below also my beautiful darlings of the day-to-day -day is confusing at all you can stick with me to them we're gonna go over your love interest feelings the box delays and challenges and the overall outcome Let's see what's going on here. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So your ships are coming in. It's something you've been waiting for. Something you've been waiting on is coming in. Three of Wands energy. I just keep hearing this person. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. Uh, there's some good news coming in, guys. Page of Cups energy. But let's see what this blockage is about. We got this Knight of Wands going on here. Now, there could be an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. There could be some concerns of, I'm not sure who I want to commit to, because the Knight of Wands is somebody who's lacking you know, commitment in something. Uh, there is a person who's coming in pretty fast, very passionate with the Knight of Wands energy. Let's see how that's going to play out in a second here. Let's go to the first card here, which is there's some good news, some communication coming in. You're going to be receiving some kind of communication. All right, so what's going to have my Leo's romantic love life August 9th to the 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, what's this good news about? Someone who has been hidden, hasn't been saying anything, they're taking off their mask, they're revealing themselves to you. There's getting, you're getting some kind of communication. Now, as I tell you guys, I always see the Seven of Swords as kind of like the spying card. Someone was watching you afar, doing something sly or slick. Okay, so what's going to have my Leo's romantic love life August 9th to the 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, <laughs> definitely a very passionate situation could potentially happen here on the 9th. Well, we did see the Knight of Wands, right? Okay. Let's get more information here. What's got my Leo's romantic love life for August 9th to the 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It's like a passionate surprise. Okay. We have the solid foundation built. So it is somebody you've already built some kind of solid foundation with. Okay. So let's keep going. Someone's trying to control themselves, trying to be strong, trying not to let their guard down here. Okay, on the 10th, it's definitely a want to give to the situation. And there's a sense of confusion because of this. Because of concerns of a brand new life, new beginning. 
on the 11th, it looks like you're connecting with somebody, connecting with somebody eye to eye. There is a deep love connection, some things being revealed. And it's like, let me show you this. Let's look at this. Let's examine the situation. It looks like you're receiving some kind of uh, something of value, something of worth, or maybe even money here. You see this soulmate connection, this relationship. And as I can, I can tell you, there's going to be some questioning of why. Okay, so we built this, and we built this solid, solid foundation. And I'm really surprised about this new life, this new beginning, this new situation. But why did this have to happen this way? Why did this happen to happen this way? I just want to find out. I don't know. I have no knowns about the situation. And then I keep hearing this person, this Whitney Houston song. Ah, think of you. So you count telling me that they think of you. I think of you. Okay, so let's keep going. So we see this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, some good news. We got Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. All right, so what's this good news about? Ending for a new beginning because of family conflict. Good news. Ending of something with family conflict, long-term money, finance. I regret what happened. I don't want to run out of time with you. I feel bad about this situation. I've been thinking about this. We have a solid foundation. I just want to surprise you and I just don't understand why why did it have to happen this way I don't know what happened here we always come back together it's always this we reconnect again and I don't know what happened I feel like I'm running out of time for this love okay let's keep going there is this very healing energy on the 13th this energy of patience to see how things are going to come into balance I feel really sad. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to feel like there's going to be some type of rejection. I don't know where I stand with you. I have a lot of uncertainty. What's going on? Why is it like this? What's the air of mystery here, Leo? I want to open up to you. I want to be loyal to my heart. I want this relationship. You know we're the same. We're almost like twins. It's like we want the same things. We're on the same level. I know we're well matched. I just want an equal give and take. I want to debate this point with you. Why don't you listen to me? Because of people involved with the situation. There's multiple people involved with the situation. So I want to equal give and take. I want to make my point to you. I want to argue this point about these people here. You're getting some kind of letter, message, document, communication about this situation here with the message card coming out. So we see there's a hopeful energy. There's a lot of emotions at play. Someone wants a real profound change here. And they want to bring light to this situation about this emotional situation with this message. So let's keep going here. Leo, you're my ideal partner. You have all the tools that I need with the magician card energy. I want to spend some alone time with you. I want to get you alone. So it looks like you could be spending some alone time with somebody, some private time alone with somebody on the 15th here, okay? Because uh, if I go align myself this way, it, it could definitely be something passionate in nature. We see this passionate situation. We see family conflict long term, and we see, let's go further here. This isolation or separation, yeah, they want to get you alone. They want to get you alone. There is an ideal situation. Something comes together here. 
it all aligns to get this, this person's getting you alone. Okay, um, let's keep going here. You're definitely getting some understanding, some spiritual message here, okay, about this situation. So let's bring it together. We have this foundation, this brand new life, this new beginning. I want to know why. I just feel so much regret. I want to open up to you, I'll be loyal to my heart, and give you this message that, that we are spiritually connected, that I know there's something more to this, this offer, this opportunity. I just feel it. Yeah, I'm on a fork in the road. I want to clear the air. I've been thinking about this. I want an equal exchange. I know the bigger picture, the soulmate connection. So definitely a lot of chemistry and passion, but a sense of confusion because of a relationship and family conflict. There's uncertainty because of people, and we see this isolation or separation, single and available to pursue. I'm missing you. We see this person from the past. I have feelings. You're massively shocked and surprised. There's a sense of happiness, but a crossroads because of stress and worry about how there can be a happy outcome here. There's something hidden, deceptive about this gift of money. And I want to end this sadness and to debate a point about spending time together, alone time together. So it definitely looks like presenting of this gift of money or this thing of value is going to cause something, some passion exercises this week with a particular person here. Okay, so let's bring it together because and it is somebody you've known from before. Okay. Potential signs involved with this situation, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there's this good news. I'm lacking the strength, courage, or confidence of this relationship. I want some kind of good news when it comes to long term. I'm trying to be patient for there to be an equal give and take. You're my ideal partner. I want this ideal situation with the magician card energy. If we look at the numbers of this, messages, strength, choice, messages about healing, six healing, healing, recovery, and love, a magician is seeing an ideal situation, personal power, asserting their personal power. Okay, so don't worry, I'm going to go everything at the end here. So let's first see what, how your love interest feels about you, Leo. I feel like the timing is right. I want to make a decision towards commitment, engagement, or marriage. I want your attention. I'm hopeful of some kind of big change, movement, change, traveling. Okay, journey card energy. Delays and challenges. I regret this situation and I'm going to assert myself. I'm going to try to take charge of the situation to make a power move. Okay. So let's see what this blockage is out. We got this Knight of Wands energy, so obviously there's some passionate stuff coming up. It's happening all of a sudden. And there's definitely someone who has some expectations or been, has been, there's been waiting. Two to three months waiting here. Okay, let's move this out of the way and let's sum it all up now, guys. So obviously it's happening fast with the Knight of Swords energy. There's an abrupt action, a sudden action is being taken here. There's some indecisions about this, but a very deep love connection here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We see main person, main person. We see wanting to commit. So it's like one person's trying to say to the other person, hey, what's up? Why don't you talk to me? Let's work this out. Let's figure this out. When it comes to a commitment to engage your marriage, okay? So there's a commitment here, wanting a commitment or something involving commitment here. So we see I'm hopeful that you'll make a decision very soon. And I'm very cautious, defensive, and I don't want to get hurt. So we see that there's an action being taken, and it looks like you're going to be at a crossroads. There's a, there's a very deep love offer being presented here. And it's like the one person's presenting themselves to the other person. I feel like it's your person saying to you, because there's two main people here, and it's wanting to commit to like spending time together, 
or even a relationship here, wanting a relationship, and uh, or even spending some alone time together here. We see there's a hopeful energy that a decision can be made. We see this commitment to getting some kind of advice to healing the situation. I've been thinking about you very deeply. The timing is right. I want to know. I'm defeated here and stuck in the middle because of these lying and deceptions. I've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out, and I'm cautious about this. And I don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't know if you're going to accept what I have to offer here. This house, this home, it's been causing some worries and concerns. So I want to take away these worries and concerns. This fresh start, this new opportunity, it's been a long way, a far away energy, a long wait. And there's been this very cautious defensive energy here. I want to offer love and bring things into balance because I can't stop thinking about you. So let's break it down. So an action is being taken because someone's very defeated about waiting around to see how things are going to play out because it's been a long time. There is an indecision because someone feels stuck in the middle and very cautious about this. And we see someone is presenting themselves to you as a very deep love connection and there's some sly slick energy, some, you know, some um, hiding of some thoughts or things are being done in a sly slick way to offer something here. But there's concerned about, you know, what's going to be offered won't be accepted with the Four of Cups energy or they're concerned about missing an opportunity. We see main person, we see house and home. Naive, Ate, you know, new, fresh start, new opportunity, child card energy. Main person, worried and concerned because of far away, long, long distance or two years wait. Commitment, concerns, wanting a commitment to be taken away or someone's concerned of a commitment being taken away because of restrictions, boundaries, or cautiousness. I'm hopeful of a commitment. I've been deep, very, very much thinking about this deeply when it comes to an offer of love or new love, Ace of Cups energy. Very soon, I want you to make a decision. I've gotten some kind of advice. The timing is right. Let's bring this into balance. I want an equal give and take. I'm cautious about this. I want to fix this situation. I want to know because I can't stop thinking about you. I can't get you off my mind. I'm strongly attached to you. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Leos when it comes to romantic love life for highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? August 9th to the 15th. Show me the cards I need. Please. See? Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Just listen. Clear the air. Stand your ground in what you want. Focus on forgiveness, healing. Make a decision and take appropriate action. I feel like it's saying you can find a creative solution. You can overcome your obstacles and blockages here. You have all the resources that you need. Go ahead and just do it. Lighten up and choose your priorities. Have the courage to make the bold move here. For yourself from the guilt and shame, you know your intuition is telling you and you have good instincts, so trust your instincts and prepare for a big change. Alright, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. If this resonates with you, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.